Now the first step is to set render mode to D3, D12 or D3, D11. Try window mode as well. So for this open file explorer, go to documents over here and then open the game folder, out folder, open the settings folder. Here you can see video, make a right click and then edit in notepad and scroll down and over here you can see if this is set to like D3, D11, you can set it to D3, D12 over here and then you can set window mode, put the value to zero over here and then go to file and then click on save and once you save it, uh, you can make a right click over here, go to properties and this time uh, put a check on read only, hit apply, click on OK. If you want to make changes again, you have to uncheck read only and then you should be able to uh, edit. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, uh, like you can even try edit a notepad. So if D3, D12 is not working, uh, you can try D, D3, D11 also. And then you can click on file, then click on you have to save and then you have to go to properties again. You have to go to properties and then you have to put a check on read only. So whenever you want to make changes, you have to uncheck read only, make changes and then after you make changes, save it and then put a check on read only. Now the next step is to try DX12 or DX11 in the launch option. Now for this you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game. Go to properties in the launch option you can type in dash dx12 over here launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx11 check which one is working fine for you still not working you can remove this follow the next step next step is to rename settings folder when you rename settings folder all saved settings will be lost so to rename settings folder you can go to documents and then open the game folder and then open out here you can see settings make a right click and then you can rename it once you rename it now launch the game again and then check if that does not work you can rename the save game files create a backup first because all the save game progress will be lost but once you rename the save game files now to rename the save game files you can just make our go to documents make a right click and copy this folder first and then you can paste it to the desktop just create a backup once you have a backup created over here now you can rename it and then launch the game will start from scratch still not working uh, the next step is to so if you are able to launch the game uh, you can try this step if you are not able to launch the game you can skip this step set fps cap in the game to 2 to 3 fps lower than your monitor's refresh rate for example if your monitor has 240 hz refresh rate then you can try capping the fps at 238 or maybe 237 and you can keep dlss plus frame generation on and you can try with both vsync on and off for uh, many players keeping the vsync on with this setting has worked and if that does not work you can even turn off vsync and then use these settings so in the game uh, you can go to options and go to video and here fps you can just make sure fps limiter is on and then you can lock the fps like suppose if your monitor refresh is refresh rate is 240 in that in that case you can just Try maybe 237 and 238. So this is just an example. You can try 238 or maybe 237 if your monitor refresh rate is 240 Hz. And then you can keep the DLSS on with frame generation. And you can try both VSync off and on. And then you can you have to apply the changes make sure that you apply the changes and then you can check if that does not work switch fsr frame generation switch to fsr frame generation you can change frame generation to fsr and dlss for upscaling and then check this has also worked 
If that does not work, try disabling G-Sync or FreeSync. And now the next step is to try Power Saver mode. Now for this, type in Control Panel in Windows Search Box. Click on Control Panel. Go to Hardware and Sound, and then go to Power Options. Now over here, in my case, I have only balanced. But in your case, if you find this Power Saver, select Power Saver, and then relaunch the game, and then check. You can even go for Balanced or High. But first of all, try Power Saver and then check. If that does not work, you can. If you're using this Intel Extreme Tuning Utility Software, if you're not using, you can install it. You can search in Google, install it, and then you can go to Performance Score Ratio. If this is set to like 58 or 59, you can lower it down to maybe 55, 54, 53x, and then apply the changes and then relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to. Turn on or turn off hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this, you can type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. Click on advanced graphics settings over here. If hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, turn it on and then relaunch the game. If, if this is already on, you can turn it off and then check. Next step is to try launching the game from NVIDIA app. So if you're using NVIDIA app, uh, you can launch NVIDIA app. And then you can go to graphics and you will see the game over here. You can select the game over here. Now, once you select the game over here, uh, you, you might see optimize option. So in my case, uh, I don't see it, but if you see optimize option, optimize it. And then uh, you can check. Now, if it is already optimized, then you will see revert option. You can revert and then check. And then you can try launching the game from here. So try to launch the game from here and then check. If not working, you can close the NVIDIA app. Now the next step is to restore NVIDIA control panel settings. Now for this, you can go to desktop, make a right click on the desktop, show more option, click on NVIDIA control panel. Now, once NVIDIA control panel is open, go to manage 3D settings and go under global settings, you will see restore option. Click on restore, click on yes to allow. And then once done at the bottom right, click on apply option. And then you can check if that does not work in NVIDIA control panel, you can go to help and then you can try debug mode. So put a check on debug mode and then relaunch the game and then check. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. If you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security and then click on Windows security. Click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage the ransomware protection. Click on it, click on, click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add and allowed app, browse all apps, and then go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686. Now open the Steam folder, Steam apps folder. Open the common folder. And then find the game folder, open the game folder. Open this folder, work, bin, x64. Select the game exe file, click on open, control panel. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel. System and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse. And again, go to the game installation folder and do the same thing. Select the game exe file, click on open, and then click on add. In my case, it is already added. Once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have MD card, go to MD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Select your graphic card over here and select the operating system. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then scroll down. Whichever is the latest graphic card driver, that is GeForce Game Ready Driver, click on View, and then you can click on Download. And then 
run the exe file and then click on yes to allow click on ok and then click on agree and continue select custom option and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next after the clean installation is done restart your computer and then you can check if that does not work the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on the game and then select high performance over here now you can launch the game still not working the next step is to roll back graphics card driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working in that case uh, you can even roll back to previous version so you can maybe try 581.15 or 581.08 so when you roll back but make sure when you install it make sure you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next after the clean installation restart your computer and then check next step is to verify the game file now for this make a racking the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file for this open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see x86 and x64 file you have to download both the files run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file again when you run the exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed restart your computer and after the system restart you can check next step is to increase the virtual memory increase the virtual memory now for this uh, you can type in view advanced system settings in windows search box click on view advanced system settings under advanced click on the first settings and then over here go to advanced and then click on change over here uncheck this box put a check on custom size over here and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed and then initial size custom and then for initial size uh, initial size is like 1.5 multiplied total RAM and for maximum size it's 3 multiplied total RAM now you can check how much RAM you have you can go to system and then you can scroll down go to about option and over here in my case is 16 gigabyte so you have to calculate as per your ram so in my case is 16 60 multiplied 1024 that is in megabyte multiplied 1.5 for initial size so it's 24576 and for maximum size it's 3 multiplied total ram that is uh, 16 gigabyte in my case ram 1024 in megabyte multiplied 3 that is 49152 in my case and then you can click on set set is important and then click on ok and then ok ok now launch the game and then check if that does not work restart your computer and then check still not working type in view advanced system settings once again in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings click on settings over here go to advanced change and this time select system manage size and then click on set over here you have to make sure that you select your drive where the game is installed and then click on ok ok apply ok ok restart your computer after the system restart you can check still not working then we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advanced change and then put a check on automatic over here and this will just this will go to default now the next step is to update windows for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working 
the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected when you update the BIOS. Next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have OTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Disconnect multiple monitors. So if you have multiple monitor setup, try launching the game on single monitor. Do not overclock, set it to default. Close all the overclocking applications like MSI Afterburner, Revert Tuner, and then check. Close all the third party application and services on your computer. Remove the undervolt if you have undervolted your computer and then check. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to a different drive. So if nothing is working, uninstall the game. After, after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart the computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.